Hello, everyone. I'm Mark Tarr, President and CEO of Encompass Health, and we're delighted to be here at Quill and Rehabilitation Hospital here in Johnson City, Tennessee. Join us as you'll have a chance to meet some of the staff as we celebrate the fact that they are the Hospital of the Year for 2024. So before we find out more about what has helped Quill and Rehabilitation Hospital to win the 2024 Hospital of the Year, let me give some of the updates from third quarter from the company perspective. So it was another strong period of growth for the company in Q3. We had total discharge growth of 8.8%. We had 6.8% of that was same store for discharges. We brought on two additional hospitals, brand new hospitals, one in Fort Mill, South Carolina, which is just a suburb just outside of Charlotte. And then we had a hospital in Johnson, Rhode Island, uh, which is a, a brand new state for us. Uh, very pleased with bringing on those two hospitals. The quality of care that we were able to provide in the third quarter when you look at discharge of community, patient satisfaction, the number of patients, the low percentage of patients that went back to acute care hospital, were all exemplary in terms of our ability to exceed the goals that we were trying to achieve with our patients and patient outcomes. So I want to thank everybody. It was just another great quarter for us in Q3 and brought a lot of momentum into Q4. We had uh, two hurricanes in the last three weeks, Helene and Milton. We had facilities in the state of Florida that were impacted. We had two hospitals, one in Largo, Florida, and one in Cape Coral, Florida, that both had to evacuate, and they were able to transfer patients to other sister hospitals that were in adjacent markets. So the teams worked really hard to make sure that the patients there uh, were not in jeopardy in, in any way. Uh, and then we had other states that were impacted primarily uh, by uh, Helene. And if you look at uh, where I am today in Johnson City, Tennessee, that whole East Tennessee area uh, had some flooding in it. If you think about the winds and damaging floods up in the state of Georgia, particularly around the Augusta area. So we had a number of markets where our hospitals uh, worked night and day to make sure that the patients were taken care of, they work together to help each other in the communities in which they live. Kudos to everybody and working together as a team to make sure everybody was safe and okay. So I'm here with uh, Rob Adams today. Uh, Rob is the CEO of Quillen Rehabilitation Hospital, which is the recipient of the 2024 Hospital of the Year. So Give us an idea about what you guys kind of went through to get to the position where you're putting out the, the outcomes that put you in the position to receive the hospital of the year. Yeah. So, yeah, first, thank you very much. You know, it's a heck of a recognition for this hospital and for this team. Uh, we couldn't be more excited about the recognition. Uh, and really, it's I mean, that's a great question, our journey. Uh, it has been, so I've been CEO of this hospital for five years, starting January of 20. I got in, you know, do an assessment. You start working with your team. You find out what the what your capabilities are and what the possibilities are. And then with that leadership team, we, you know, you kind of set that first strategic plan and the direction that you want to go, and you, and you start going that direction. So fast forward to last year, and as a team, uh, we sat down. Once again, that same leadership team, there was, there was no turnover from a team perspective there. Uh, it was the right people at the right place at the right time. And so we sat, uh, we discussed what we thought we could do uh, for this area now that we had seen some of that significant volume growth because it began uh, it began four years ago is when we started to really see that incremental volume growth year after year. So, you know, each individual person from a quality standpoint, a therapy standpoint, nursing standpoint, uh, we dedicated ourselves to achieve what was absolute best. I attribute it to the leadership team. They came together, they bought into the vision. And, and, and we're better because of it, and the patients of our area are better because of it. Well, I've been here for a few hours now, and we, we've seen it uh, operating firsthand, whether it's your, your huddle team or having a chance to, to meet some of the team as we, we walked around. And, and, you know, it's obvious that there's a strong culture here and, and a real compassion around caring for the patient. 
So much so that you've had growth um, that is uh, warranting uh, a, a bed addition yeah. uh, planned here for the for the next year. So congratulations on the success uh, you and your team have had here. Uh, it's a real honor to come today and, and present the Hospital of the Year. Uh, and uh, I very much look forward to watching the growth and continued success here at Quillen. As always, I want to thank all the staff for helping to make Encompass Health uh, a fantastic uh, company. Uh, we have hospitals across the country now. We have 165 hospitals. Uh, we now surpass 40,000 staff members as part of our organization. So we have a lot to be proud of, and it all goes back to what you all do every day and taking great care of our patients and being there when they need you. Thank you.